People often ask me what I do to prepare for my trans-temporal exploits. To be completely honest, all I really do is make absolutely certain I'm wearing trousers. Although, when I first began my life of constant trans-temporal excursion, I had an extensive checklist. Before every trip, I would go over the list to make sure everything was shipshape. Temporal coordinates set and locked, relevant cultural criteria reviewed, relevant lingual criteria reviewed, relevant economic criteria reviewed, etc., etc. Eventually, I realized that everything was much more fun if I kept the list to arms, legs, neck, head, nose, hat, trousers. People will tell you that you should always be prepared, chief among them Baden-Powell, and of course there is substance to this philosophy. However, I prefer a slightly amended principle. Instead of always be prepared, I like to be prepared for anything. This motto is much more interesting and certainly more effective. Allow me to explain the difference. A man who is always prepared will bring a boat and a fishing pole before embarking on a fishing trip. A man who is prepared for everything, whilst forgetting his boat and pole, will have the knowledge and the skills necessary to carve a spear out of a branch and fashion a boat out of a giant turtle shell and three live gophers. And yes, I was once the man with the boat and the pole. There were times when I would not set foot in ancient Pompeii without a gas mask, an umbrella, a Latin phrase book, and knowing exactly what day it was. But from what I've learned, it's much better to be able to hold your breath, run fast, and learn Latin. In the old days, I used to consult a solar almanac before visiting any form of warlike, sun-worshipping civilization, just in case I needed an eclipse. However, after nearly being barbecued alive as a sacrifice to the great god Inti without a single shadow on the sun, I learned that these books cannot always be relied upon. The unavoidable truth is that even if you have a time machine, you can never always be prepared. Never... Never always... Al never, hmm. it, trust me, I've learned the hard way. Let's say, if in anticipation of a hurricane, you reinforce your ship's balloon, Batten down and lock all doors and hatches, secure all guns and lamps, waterproof the magazine, stock up on food and rations, and then cuff yourself to the wheel, you may consider yourself to be efficiently prepared. Well done you! However, what if it isn't a hurricane at all? What if the tempestuous winds are the product of a trans-dimensional wormhole spewing masses of ravenous flying polyps? If now you're surrounded by a flight of carnivorous aberrations on a ship stockpiled with food and you're handcuffed to the wheel. You certainly weren't prepared for that now, were you? The point is... Having the right tool for the task is all well and good, but what if the task isn't what it seems? The wise thing to do is to be the right tool for every task, to learn as many creative and practical skills as your brain and body can hold. Learn how to tie knots and escape from them, to breathe underwater, to pick locks, to distill water from an engine's radiator, use a live goose to unclog a smokestack, fashion a flat pulley belt out of a pair of stockings, build an igloo, fashion grenades out of coconut shells stuffed with flint and white dittany flowers, navigate by the stars, tame and befriend a wild buffalo, break down a door with a single kick, power 
a small motor vehicle using nothing but lemons, cook food with a lightning rod, build up immunities to exotic poisons, catch fish using a telephone, train wild pigeons to carry messages with magnets, booby trap a field using common garden rakes, immobilize a charging rhinoceros with a bottle of champagne, and perform open heart surgery with kitchen utensils and gin. In addition, among the many useful tools worth carrying at all times, a clever chrononaut should never be caught without a durable multi-purpose blade, a sewing kit, a magnifying glass, a compact wrench, a flask, a reliable multi-tool, and most important of all, a banana. Where and whenever you go, always bring a banana. A more versatile fruit you will never find. Its countless uses include nourishment, entertainment, polishing, bait, exfoliation, teeth whitening, treating insect bites, treating splinters, electricity conduction, self-defense, fertilizer, water purification, curing a hangover, and of course, slippery peel traps. <laughs> it's the Renaissance fruit! You may not always be prepared but you'll be prepared for anything.